Okay, so um, look over wherever I am um, in that messy house. I could not find a quiet or a clean place um, to make this video. So I'm doing the best I can and the laundry is on the bed today so I can sit um, on my little sofa in my room and um, just say what an amazing job you guys have done. Um, this week has been incredible. Um, it's been so inspiring and encouraging for me and I know that while it's not easy, you guys are working so hard and all of your hard work will pay off. I do want you to stay off of that scale. I know it's hard. I know that you want to step on the scale and see your results, but I promise you, just trust your body and how you're feeling. And right now you still may be feeling kind of yuck, right? Like your body's detoxing a lot of stuff and um, you're changing habits that maybe you've struggled with for a long, long time, and so it won't happen overnight. And I want you, if if you slip up or if your day doesn't go quite as planned, because it will happen, um, those things do happen, right? We're real people, we're real life, and you've just got to get back up and just try again the next day. Um, if you have one bad meal or you overate on your yellows or what have you, you can't let that ruin your progress and just get into a negative mindset. And that reminds me, I wanted to bring something upstairs and I totally forgot. But um, speaking of negative mindset, so for 18 months I've been on this journey. And one of the things that has truly been a game changer for me is personal development. And what I mean by that, because when I first started, I heard people reference that and I didn't know um, what it meant. And basically, it means that every morning um, or every night, whenever's convenient for you, maybe it's car line, maybe it's um, waiting at the doctor's office, find a book, find a podcast that speaks to you. And I like to read for enjoyment, but I also like to read and really get something out of it. Um, so a few of my favorites are um, You Are a Badass. Um, I love um, some things by Joyce Meyer. I um, uh, I wish I would have brought my books up um, because I have so many. And I've read more in the last year and a half. And I do audiobooks because I'm in the car a lot. And I do... Um, Podcasts. I find I love Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, he's kind of sassy and uses some foul language, but um, he has some great info. Um, you just kind of got to figure out what it is that you want to hear. And if you need some guidance, um, maybe it's just encouragement or maybe it's motivation. Um, if you are an emotional eater and you turn to food when you're stressed and you have... Um, it kind of has a religious background to it. So if you're a Christian, um, Made to Crave was an amazing book. I did it on audio and I would have never thought that I was a um, an emotional eater. And I quickly realized that I turn to sugar immediately um, when I get stressed or when things are, are kind of wonky for me. So um, that was a great one. And they have it on, I, go, I use Audible um, and I really enjoy that. But iBooks... Um, or Kindle, whatever you have, work with it, right? And and 10 minutes a day, 10 pages a day. It doesn't have to be the whole book. You don't have to commit. It takes me a long time to read it because I don't have a ton of time. Um, and I also journal. So I write about my progress and I write about how I'm feeling and that I really want to eat cake. Guys, I'm on day 16 of no sugar. And I'm talking no sugar added to salad dressings. No sugar added to my hot sauce. Like I'm not eating sriracha because it has sugar. Um... So, and I'm trying to avoid eating out because I really truly don't know if I get a sauce or if I get something, what's in it. So I've only eaten out like once or twice, I think, um, in the last 16 days. So having said all of that, um, find something that you enjoy reading or listening to and something uplifting and encouraging and inspiring and it just makes you feel like, you know what? I can keep going even if I have a bad day. And if I have great days and I keep rocking it, I'm just gonna keep rocking it, right? Like, keep doing it. So, keep up the amazing work in week two. Um, I can't believe we're already in week two. And I wanna say that I think this group um, even though the app is new, even though it's um, kind of, you know, we're, we're all learning it and I'm still learning it and trying to do more videos and all those fun things. But even though, um, even though it's new and even though some of you guys are new and you're joining in, 
you're doing such a great job and you're being accountable and you're being supportive and motivating and encouraging and positive and all those things. Ah! Um, that's my, make sure nobody's name fell out. Okay. Um, that was my bowl. Um, all those things that w is what makes this challenge group or these challenge groups so amazing and why they work for me because I know, maybe you're not sitting there thinking about it, but you're. if I don't post or if I'm not showing my workout or my shake, you're like, well, what's she doing? Where's she at, right? Like, how's her day? So you're kind of looking forward once you see these folks posting to see what they're eating, to get some ideas. If you have tips, if you found something that truly works for you, because I certainly don't know it all, and I learn something new each and every group, which is what is so amazing about this. Um, Please share it, please. Um, if you're not comfortable sharing it, you want to send it to me, I'll share it. So whatever works for you. So I've kind of been rambling because I'm so stinking excited about you guys. And um, we're getting ready to do Sundays on Sunday since the kids don't have school. It's a little later tonight. But um, I'm not having ice cream. I have made um, apple nachos. So I sliced apples and I put some almond butter. And I usually would have put some chocolate chips, but I'm not doing that. So we did, um, I chopped up some dates and I put some fresh dates and then I put some coconut and some sunflower seeds for crunch. Sunflower, did I say that right? Okay, so behind me, my lovely box here is um, the Shakeology. So in here, I haven't even opened it yet, is a 30-day supply of the Chocolate Vegan Shakeology. And I love, 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 love to do um, giveaways during our group because I think it motivates people and it keeps them positive. And so Shakeology has been a huge game changer for me. Um, I know probably half of you are doing it and half of you are not doing it, um, but everybody's name is in this bowl because you're amazing and I appreciate your support and everybody in this group has at some point purchased a fitness program or um, Shakeology or you continue to do, do those things. And so I appreciate you and um, spreading the word about our groups and um, sending folks my way. And so this was um, just kind of a very small gift um, to someone in our group today um, that I'll get sent out because it really just truly changed my life. And um, it wasn't just the shake, it was everything that came with the shake. And um, with that, I've been able to inspire and motivate and see women do amazing things in their lives. And I just couldn't ask for, for anything better. So I'm gonna mix it up, everybody's names in here. Give it a sister. I'm not gonna have my kids because then they'll pick like three names and then It'll be awful because I won't know what to do. So I don't have three shakes, so I only have one bag. It's still in the box, and all I'm going to do is cover up that label, and whoever wins, I'm going to put it in there, unless you're local. Um, and then I'm going to ship it to you immediately. Okay, one name, one name. Kizzy, can you see it? Ah, I don't know where the camera is on this stinking computer. <laughs> okay, yay! So you won a 30-day supply of Shakeology. So keep up the great work, guys. I love you all. Can't wait to see your results. Stay off the scale. Plan and prep and rock out this week. Okay, bye.